Good morning to everyone connected and mainly to the prospective students. Um, my name is Anna Reggio. I am an associate professor of solid and structural mechanics, a member of the civil engineering faculty and civil engineering myself. Uh, today I will give you a brief talk, introductory talk, to the um, Master of Science in Civil Engineering at Politecnico di Torino. After my talk, you will have some time to uh, pose your questions uh, in the uh, chat space uh, you, you can see on the left. Um, so, um, everyone in civil engineering knows uh, the high degree of uh, complexity and technical and social responsibility that characterizes the um, our profession um, and as highlighted in uh, the report uh, the vision for civil engineering in 2025 by the american society of uh, civil engineers um, by um, you 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 see you see um, a sentence on the left of the slide, civil engineers are entrusted by society to help achieve a sustainable world and raise the global quality of uh, life. It is therefore um, apparent that such degree of uh, complexity and uh, responsibility um, requires today more than in the past a unique blend of uh, high-level theoretical knowledge and up to date practical skills. So uh, choosing to complete your uh, education path um, with a Master of Science in Civil Engineering uh, is the best possible choice to uh, be ready to face such complexity with the most advanced background. Um, your choice to attend a Master of Science in Civil Engineering will be a challenging uh, education choice, for sure. But I can say also that it will be a, a choice, a rewarding career choice. In fact, according to the World uh, Economic Forum, constructions will be the leading sector of the world economy in the next decades. Uh, this means that civil engineers, as leaders in planning, designing and constructing the built environment, will be among uh, the critical drivers of uh, sustainable um, economic and technological uh, development in a uh, fast-changing society and in an even faster uh, technological world. The Master of Science in Civil Engineering and at Politecnico di Tolino embraces completely this uh, vision. So the main goal pursued by the master program is the advanced education and training of professionals with a broad range of knowledge and skills. Uh, about the design, construction, management, survey, control and maintenance of buildings, both civil and industrial, and infrastructures, we, we say bridges, dams, tunnels, roads and transport uh, systems, water collection, distribution uh, and water collection and distribution systems. So, um, according to the vision implemented in our uh, master program, um, civil um, engineering will be um, leading professionals in their field and on the international scene as planners, designers and constructors, stewards of the natural environment, innovators and integrators of technology, managers of risks and leaders in shaping public policy as decision makers. Um, prospective international uh, students can enroll to the Master of Science in Civil um, Engineering if they hold a, a previous bachelor's degree uh, awarded by an accredited uh, foreign university. 
uh, also a, a specific uh, civil engineering back background uh, uh, could be considered as um, recommend recommended. Actually, the enrollment is open to uh, students uh, with a bachelor's degree in any engineering uh, field. Um, additional requirements about the knowledge of the English language um, are demanded. Um, and um, in the last uh, faculty commission will be in charge of evaluating uh, the, uh, the applications for, from foreign students. Uh, the application procedures uh, is completely uh, fully managed online um, during specific calls throughout the, the year. And uh, currently, uh, there is uh, uh, an ongoing call with a deadline uh, in the month of June. Um, for any uh, bureaucrat bureau bureaucratic question, including visa question, you uh, can refer to the the, um, reference office, which is called the Incoming Mobility Office at Politecnico di Torino. Um, more in detail about the structure of the um, master uh, program in civil engineering. Uh, the program lasts two years, that are four semesters full time, and requires the uh, acquisition of 120 ECTS that are the European uh, academic credits. Um, while the program in the Italian language is uh, uh, structured in uh, four curricula, which uh, reflect the classical four branches of civil engineering, um, the program offered in uh, the English language, which is primarily aimed to uh, international students, is uh, um, straightforwardly named structures and infrastructures and is characterized by a, a greater uh, flexibility. In particular, the uh, first year uh, of the program is devoted to um, base courses um, across the uh, four branches of civil engineering that are structural engineering, infrastructure engineering, uh, geotechnical engineering, and hydraulics uh, engineering. Uh, these base courses uh, um, are uh, uh, aim at uh, uh, create a um, common knowledge base uh, among the students. During uh, the second year of, uh, uh, of the program, the students are offered civil engineering courses uh, that are um, more specialized and advanced courses. And uh, uh, in particular, students are also able to uh, select uh, um, elective courses according to, um, to their aptitudes and, uh, um, and interest. Uh, in this slide, in particular, you can get a glance of the kind of courses offered both during the first year as base courses and during the second year as civil engineering courses. So on the left uh, column, you uh, see the base courses offered in the first year. They uh, deal with uh, structural engineering, with structural mechanics uh, and uh, um, earthquake engineering uh, and theory and design of re reinforced and pre-stressed concrete structures. With uh, um, infrastructure engineering, with uh, the course construction of roads, railways and airports. Uh, with geotechnical engineering, with the course about foundation and uh, with hydraulics uh, with the course about hydrology um, as well as one course uh, about geomatics and one course about the um, construction materials technology 
The course from uh, the second year of the master program, the civil engineering courses, are, uh, allow for a more uh, advanced education and in-depth speci specialization, uh, particularly on the designing and uh, construction and uh, management of structures, uh, transportation uh, systems and infrastructures. Um, um, before um, talking about laboratories, uh, I would like to, um, to stress that uh, um, peculiar attention is uh, devoted also to uh, competencies about digital data uh, analysis. So um, you will find courses about numerical analysis uh, methods and uh, uh, building information modeling. Um, the final step of this education path is represented by the uh, master thesis, which amounts to uh, 20 uh, academic credits. Um, during the master thesis work, the student is called to uh, tackle a design project or a research project in an independent manner. That means that it is called to uh, provide uh, its personal contribution in terms of originality, originality and innovation. Um, aside from uh, these uh, um, ex-cathedra uh, teaching activities, Politecnico di Torino provides students with plenty of uh, um, relevant learning uh, opportunities and experiences, um, which we uh, can refer to uh, more properly as learning by doing opportunities. Uh, five, um, uh, foremost, first and foremost, um, I would like to uh, speak about uh, research uh, laboratories uh, in all the various fields of civil engineering, uh, laborator laboratories that deal with uh, uh, material testing, numerical simulations, and, uh, and safety. Um, these laboratories uh, carry out uh, advanced research projects, um, both publicly and privately funded. Uh, the, um, the peculiar and most important aspect is that research activities and uh, results uh, uh, obtained in the labs uh, do not remain closed in the labs, but they are constantly um, transferred to teaching and to the students. Students in particular, in particular uh, can be involved in the research activities both during their study program and during the, their master thesis uh, work, or even as postgraduate uh, um, collaborations. Uh, students uh, who would like to uh, carry out uh, an on-the-job uh, experience um, can have access to uh, internships, uh, which provide an opportunity to, um, to gain experience on the job, but without uh, establishing a formal employment, employment uh, relationship. Um, at the moment, there are two uh, kinds of internship uh, available that are curricular internships and postgraduate internships. Curricular internships um, last up to uh, 300 uh, hours and um, lead to obtain up to 12 um, academic credits. Uh, so um, the student can can choose to um, attend an internship in spite of uh, um, get, taking uh, alternative courses, elective courses, for instance. Uh, 
the second kind of internship is the postgraduate one, uh, which can be activated only after graduation, within 12 months from graduation, and for a duration of uh, up to uh, six months. Uh, internships uh, uh, activated so far by um, civil engineering students have foreseen collaborations uh, with uh, um, eminent uh, public authorities and private companies, uh, both ones with, uh, um, with strong ties uh, with the regional and uh, national territory, and once with uh, um, an international vocation. Every year, uh, an educational technical trip uh, is organized by Politecnico di Torino for the civil engineering students in the second year of their master program. Uh, the trip gives the um, opportunity uh, to gain not only a, um, uh, a critical, um, technical um, and educational uh, growth opportunity, um, but also uh, social and uh, uh, relationship uh, um, experiences with the course colleagues that will become tomorrow work colleagues. Uh, in this slide, you can see a um, picture from the last technical trip to the BBT, which is the Brenner Base uh, Tunnel, uh, currently under construction at the border between Austria and uh, Italy. The BBT will be um, one of the um, key connection points at the very heart of Europe, and at the end of its construction, it will be uh, the longest uh, um, underground rail railway connection uh, in the world. Uh, usually, technical trips uh, are uh, always uh, um, um, ref refers, refer always to uh, major civil engineering uh, works, their construction sites, uh, or uh, um, fairs of interest in the civil engineering uh, sector. Uh, last, I would like to uh, talk about winter and summer uh, school. So, uh, in addition to curricular teaching activities, uh, civil engineering students are also um, offered to attend uh, winter and summer school. Uh, which provide them with a more um, in-depth knowledge about uh, specific and advanced topics. Um, actually, these schools are attended not only by uh, Politecnico students, uh, but also uh, by foreign students from uh, universities abroad. So, uh, these schools uh, um, represent also the opportunity uh, to establish international contacts and networking. To give you uh, an example, the last school uh, was uh, held in the month of January, uh, and it was about the use uh, of open seas, which is a um, finite element uh, um, software, finite element program developed by uh, Berkeley University for the seismic analysis of structures. Uh, this school was organized in particular by Politecnico uh, in cooperation with the Euro-Asian Open Seas Association, and it saw a large particip participation of foreign students. Um, Generally speaking, uh, the Master of Science in Civil Engineering at Politecnico di Torino has a strong international uh, vocation, as testified by a wide network of uh, um, relationships with uh, prestigious technical universities in Europe and across the world. 
For the students enrolled at Politecnico, there are two um, outgoing schemes available. Uh, available. Uh, the first one is called Mobility Scheme, and the second one is called uh, Double Degree Scheme. In the Mobility Scheme, uh, the student enrolled at Politecnico can spend uh, one or two semesters abroad in a destination university to uh, take courses or to perform the master thesis uh, project. But in the end, the uh, master's degree is awarded only by Politecnico di Torino. Uh, the double degree scheme, conversely, is based on bilateral agreement between Politecnico di Torino and uh, foreign universities, among the others, Columbia University in uh, New York City and Tongji University in Shanghai. On the basis of this bilateral agreement, uh, the student enrolled at, at Politecnico spends uh, one year uh, the second year of the master's program abroad and uh, he uh, or she finally uh, obtain the master's degree from both the university, that is from Politecnico di Torino and the Destination University. Uh, before uh, concluded, uh, I hope that my uh, brief talk uh, have a, has, has highlighted uh, that uh, um, the master's program in civil engineering at Politecnico um, really uh, prepares students to, pos to own that unique blend of uh, scientific knowledge, technical skills, uh, um, personal attitude, an international vocation that form uh, a civil engineering today as a truly uh, modern professional ready to uh, solve uh, the complex uh, challenges not only present but also future posed by uh, a fast changing society and uh, a faster uh, technology world this high level uh, quality, this high level education quality is recognized also by um, employers. So, um, students from poly grad graduate, stu uh, students graduated from Politecnico di Trolino uh, easily finds job opportunities in a wide range of different career paths. Uh, including uh, um, self-employed uh, uh, professions, uh, public technical office, uh, and uh, um, international engineering firms. Uh, moreover, uh, thanks to the ability of independently solved complex engineering uh, um, problems, graduates can are also able to pursue a career in research or to uh, continue their education path towards a PhD degree. Um, to give you some facts, um, after three years from graduation, the employability rate of Politecnico graduates in civil engineering is about 95%. And this um, high-level reputation is recognized also by international rankings. In 2000, uh, 2020, uh, according to the QS um, World University Ranking, uh, Politecnico di Torino is ranked as uh, uh, 25th in the world and 9th in Europe in the field of civil and structural engineering. Um, the master's program in civil engineering has recently received the URAIS accreditation. URAIS is an international accreditation system that provides a set of standards to identify high-level engineering degrees. 
um, from the uh, perspective of students and graduates, this accreditation gives international value and recognition to the degree and uh, it allows also for uh, um, e easier um, academic and professional mobility. In conclusion, if you still have uh, doubts, uh, you can ask to uh, our students and alumni who can uh, help. Um, so please refer to the Alumni Association uh, at Politecnico di Torino for their feedback. Uh, you can easily find the link to their web, web page on the homepage of Politecnico di Torino. Um, I thank you very much for your attention. Uh, before concluding, I would like to remind you that uh, today in the afternoon from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. there will be a, a questions and answers uh, uh, session uh, dedicated especially to um, prospective international students. Now, if uh, you have questions uh, we have some some time to answer uh, and i ask to professor Baglieri, who is coordinator uh, of the civil engineering program master program to join me in answering uh, possibly thank you very much thank you to professor anna reggio for the very nice and clear presentation so if you have uh, questions please use the chat i'm answering uh, together with uh, professor anna Reggio to your questions thank you so please use the chat